That cancel train's a-comin', comin' round the bend. And it won't end until I don't know when I'm down here. Oh my gosh. I feel like the bearer of bad news as we just keep watching the banhammer dropping on everyone here. Thank you to the article from Deadline as Space Force canceled by Netflix after two seasons. Now this one, maybe I'm not so upset about. It's if it was an interesting premise, although it seemed like it was one made out of spite. And then when it came to execution, you would think Steve Carell, the cast was actually really good. John Malkovich, um, the entire cast, I, I thought was pretty good. But when you're not given good material and things just aren't that funny, I think that's part of the problem. Let's take a look at the article a little bit as Netflix has opted not to renew Greg Daniels and Steve Carell's comedy series Space Force for a third season. Apparently, uh, it comes two and a half months after season two was released in February, and it did not break into the Nielsen streaming top 10 ranking. It also made a, but it also did make a brief appearance in the streaming originals chart, debuting at number eight, raising to number seven the next week, but also had a very short presence in the Netflix daily top 10, peaking around number five, after season one had a lengthy stay at number one. So a lot of what Netflix likes to do is they they take their viewership and critical how, how many awards it gets nominated for versus the cost. This is a very expensive show. I don't know why, because it doesn't seem like they spent a ton of money on it. I, the first season had quite a bit of CGI, but the second season, clearly they were like, yeah, we're not doing this space stuff anymore. We're not. <laughs> they seemingly d didn't have a lot of... of um, time or money they wanted to spend on they knew that it was a losing proposition the other thing and i think we did a review on this in one of the previous episodes of ours and before we move any forward I just want to remind everybody hey we'd really appreciate a like subscribe a rumble all those great things and more really helps the channel keep going really appreciate the support uh but What's interesting here is the streamer, uh, apparently Netflix canceled Raising Dion, uh, which ranked a spot or two higher in the Nielsen rating chart. So clearly that was, it was going to happen just a matter of time. As I said, the cast, Karel Makovich, Tony Newsom, Diana Silvers, Don Lake, Jimmy O. Yang, they were all really good. Uh, but one of the things that we said in the review though, is they had jokes like season two was a particularly big fail because there was a big incident that happened between the two seasons and they just kept using it as a running joke. Like, do you remember what happened in space? And well, remember all the crazy stuff that happened in space? And then they don't tell you that. They beat that joke into the ground. I, they must have mentioned it like 10 or so times. And it's like, look, that joke might've worked once. But then when you start using it as a plot point, it's literally an entire motivation for one character for her entire season arc is based around the fact that something happened to her in space and she don't want to talk about it and they don't mention it they don't tell you what it is like we're supposed to wait for a second season or a third season again another show left open on a cliffhanger these shows got to stop doing this you're just alienating fans and then when people come back and say okay uh daniels and steve carell are producing a new show you're not going to get that built-in audience anymore because we're going to know your last show wasn't that good and you left us on a cliffhanger that we didn't want to to deal with you know like we're just not going to invest the time there's so much stuff to catch up on and this is just too much so i'm not that upset that it got canceled how do you feel did you get a chance to watch this one I just did not think it warranted a third season. The second season was really, really weak. There's a second joke just as a as a, a reason to not do this. This is we're trying to learn lessons here, folks, especially when we're watching shows and devoting our time to be fans. They had a second joke about uh, why General Naird, Steve Carell's character, why his wife was in jail. And they never answered it. They kept 
going away from it. And we're two seasons in and we still don't know. Maybe you drop that joke once or twice in a show, but you can't just keep beating a dead horse. Like, it just doesn't make any freaking sense. Anyway, again, Netflix dropping, dropping more shows like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. So we'll see what happens. Uh, is there any show you're concerned about that we should know about? Is, are there shows that you have inklings that might get canceled? Let us know in the comments below. In the meantime, be sure to catch our full-length audio podcast. Catch that everywhere you catch podcasts. Stitcher, Spotify, iTunes, all those fun places. We do live stream it as well where you can have fun, participate, kick one back with us. That's 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday nights. But in the meantime, I am on to the next one.